Hello, low ego action heroes. This is Debbie Levitt from DeltaCX.com. And once in a while, somebody asks me, hey, Deb, what's your background? How did you end up doing UX work? Are you some sort of weird old school enterprise UX person who's really into process charts and conjoined triangles? And I say, well, definitely not, since I had to Google those when you asked me that. Um, so my background is actually, uh, I uh, went to college for pre-med and music. And after doing uh, biology, uh, physics, and chemistry, uh, I decided to drop science and I continued with music. This left a huge hole in my course load. So I started taking psychology and other classes for fun. And that was where I learned about some of the things that are at the core of UX, like Gestalt principles of perception and how people parse information and react to different things. And so that ended up influencing me greatly, but I didn't have and don't have formal UX education. Um, uh, this was the mid, so I graduated college in 1993. Yes, you can do the math. And I started my own website company in 1995, and my goal was to create websites based on what I had learned in psychology classes about how people think and behave. Um, so it was kind of UX before I realized it was UX. And it took some time before I even heard of UX. And then, of course, I was able to more uh, formalize what I was doing. Um, I don't have a huge enterprise background. I've mostly worked in uh, agencies. I do a lot of freelancing and contracting, still do. And I I've tended to work a lot in e-commerce. I have a huge e-commerce background, been doing that since 1997. Tend to work on SaaS systems and sometimes uh, financial or banking stuff. I can work on anything that I'm not morally opposed to, but I'm definitely not an old school enterprise UX person with process charts and, and conjoined triangles, which I, I still don't know what they are. Um, so uh, I know that sometimes people uh, hear what I say and they hear me standing up for uh, the, the way UX has been done by by Don Norman and Larry Marine and, and Tog and all the people we uh, usually respect the most. Um, but, but that doesn't mean I'm left over from uh, some weird old enterprise prize era. Uh, I'm not. I'm a self-taught person who uh, believes very strongly in doing things right and, uh, and standing up for what's right. And when I see things that I think are working against CX and UX and us being understood or respected or included uh, I'm against it. And that means I'm against a, a lot of the nouveau and fake ways people have tried to skimp and shortcut uh, UX. I, I think in the long run, it's going to look cool for now, but eventually someone's going to do the math and realize that all that time we wasted and all the times we had to fix it later weren't worth it. And that maybe there's something to doing UX the right way. Um, so that's a little bit about me. I do have a much longer video up here with my whole story. If you really want to get bored one day or turn it into a, a weird game of some sort, you know, a decaf coffee drinking game. But that's a bit of my story. Feel free to ask any questions. And thanks, of course, for watching. And please subscribe and press like and tell peeps about the Delta CX channel. Thanks and see you in the next video.